we train to have mastery of our own mind. What's up guys, I'm Jai Sugram. Welcome to the Jai Sugram Method 40 Days of Strength Challenge. We're gonna take this journey together of doing 100 push-ups and 100 squats for 40 days in a row. It's going to be amazing and you're all invited. You can pick a workout buddy, someone who wants to firm up their mind and their body for the new year. So let's get started together. We're on the journey of consistency to overcome our listlessness, our lethargy, any obstacles that get in the way. We're trying to build momentum with this new year energy. So you can do the push-ups and the squats, 50 in the morning, 50 at night, spread them out throughout the day. But the goal is to make your mark each day. And if you miss one day, to just double it up the next day. So you don't wanna miss, but if you have to miss because of some extreme circumstance arising, just get back on the saddle, double it up, and it will still count towards your challenge. So people of any age, you can be 90 years old. I've worked with 90 year old clients. And they can still do this challenge. Here are the modifications. We're gonna go through the form for a perfect push up and a perfect squat but you don't have to be idealistic and be attached to that form. Initially, we focus on success of approximation, so coming closer and closer and closer to that which is ideal for our individual body. So, for example, if you are physically not highly conditioned right now, you can just stay at this wall and do a plank, and instead of doing push-ups right away, with the feet together, what you're gonna do is just stay in the plank and breathe, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, and each breath counts as a repetition because that's building stability at the joints, it's building strength, and you're starting to fire the core muscles of the body. What you can do for the squat portion of the exercise to build strength progressively is to come against the wall and bring your feet forward far enough so with you, when you bend your knees a little bit, there is some work being done on the vastus medialis, the primary destabilizer as you go forward. It stabilizes the knee. So you wanna flex your hips, spread your chest, and press your index knuckle against the wall and look forward. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. So each breath that you count, a full inhale and a full exhale counts as one repetition. And each day as you get stronger, you'll go a little lower till you come there. Your hips are parallel with the knees and maybe even a little lower, but you want the femur, the thigh bone parallel with the earth. Once you have that strength, you can come off of the wall and do full concentric and eccentric contractions, which takes a lot more of balance and using the proprioception with the brain communicating with the muscles of the body. But you can start in those stable environments just using the breath to circulate energy and build strength at the joints and throughout the whole system. So anyone, people of all ages, all fitness levels can come along on this challenge with our community and build an extended family through fitness, through the shared goal. There are some amazing physical benefits and psychological benefits to this process we are all in together. On the physical plane, we can see the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the hip, the knee, and the ankle are all involved in that squatting and that pushing motion. So we're strengthening the entire body as a whole. So the neurons in the head are making connections. Electricity is flowing through the wires to connect to the entire body. So we're training the entire organism in a way that can adapt to other sports and help things like our yoga practice, our swimming, our climbing, whatever you're into, this is a process of strengthening every single part of the body. No stone is left unturned. Also the bones of the body, when you put that loading, when you load the bones of the body, they hold more osteoblasts, more bone cells, so you're strengthening the bones cardiovascularly, you're moving blood around from the lower to the upper, and you're clearing the acids, the metabolites of respiration quickly in order to get going again. All of this is an overall strength and conditioning program that is super efficient. Now on the psychological plane, what we're building is mental strength. You're going to begin to see yourself as a closer. 40 days is a crucial point 
where we build a new habit. The habit becomes wired and we break away from the old pattern of inconsistency, of wanting to do something but letting our laziness, our heaviness take over. We start to reform ourselves as a new person. And the way we look at ourselves is who we actually become in the world. So it's an inner strength, it's a mental strength, and also that sense of community that there are people all over the world connecting through the internet, through social media, through something that's really new in a positive and empowering way. So we're all in this together. Let's rock it out. So make sure to follow all of our New York-based co-hosts. They're fantastic, and each person brings a different kind of specialty. Perhaps one or two of us may be more inspiring, and you connect to energetically, philosophically. We're all here for you. You can reach out to us. And also follow the hashtags, Jai Sugra Method and 40 Days of Strength. So guys, make sure to post your progress. How are you doing physically? What are the challenges? How did you overcome the soreness? How did you keep going on a day that was difficult? The psychological and physical challenges is important for us as hosts to know what you guys are feeling. It's important to reach out to each other. And when you share your process, it can inspire someone else that's going through something similar. As your primary host, I'll be posting daily on Instagram, at Jai Sugaram. And my YouTube channel, the Jai Sugram channel, will have the long form content that shows you how to progressively increase and advance the practice from the base level all the way to full range of motion and even advanced inversion aspects of the practice. So let's stay connected, let's build momentum, and let's start the new year really, really nicely together. 40 days of strength. Rawr.